And welcome back everybody to Yogi's Trail. Today we have a video on hygiene and self-care in the outdoors. This video is going to elaborate on the last couple ones uh, I've done here. Uh, just talking about what kind of uh, little tiny things you got to bring with you when you're backpacking. What kind of little doodads, knickknacks, uh, gizmos do kind of hikers like to take and uh, use in the outdoors. Uh, a big part of that, of course, is hygiene. Hygiene is going to it's just going to give you a nice little mental, you know, uplift when you need it. Uh, there's nothing like getting clean in the outdoors and, and slipping into your sleeping bag and, and knowing you're going to get a nice good night's sleep just because uh, you're, you're, you're nice and clean. You don't have sunscreen grime going into your eyes while you're trying to sleep at nighttime. Uh, so to get clean, we all know how to bathe ourselves. Um, it's just a matter of like how you want to bathe yourself in the outdoors. I like to take the opportunities as they come and also kind of bathe down pretty much every night with um, like my handkerchief here. And uh, I will simply just take a bottle of water um, and potable water too, I'll purify it or filter it. And I'll take that with me to my camp or wherever I'm kind of eating and doing camp chores. And I can do it all in my camp chair. I just uh, take this and put some soap on it and lab, you know, wash up and then take it, wring, wring it out and put some water on it and kind of uh, get the uh, soap residue off and then wring that out and then I'm good to go. Uh, but you can, uh, just try to take, you know, whatever advantage you can. Um, if there's a nice lake or river or stream to kind of go dip in, you know, uh, take the 15 minutes to, to, you know, unpack and get in for a few and, and just clean up. Um, cause a lot of, you know, what I think of, uh, backpacking and being in the outdoors is, uh, just taking the kind of opportunities as, as they come by. So if you get an opportunity to clean yourself off and, and, uh, get nice and, and, uh, and fresh, then man, do so. So the soaps you can use are all these, uh, nice little biodegradable soaps. Sometimes like you can put it in like smaller packaging, um, to try to kind of reduce weight or whatever. But the only soap that I've found that doesn't leak on me is the Sea to Sunnet Wilderness Wash. This, uh, you know, bottle is just the one bottle that never has leaked on me. So I take that with me all the time. And that's my soap of choice in the uh, wilderness. But anything really works, do kind of keep mind, uh, I'm sorry, not anything works. <laughs> get something biodegradable. Uh, anything on this little table here will work. But get something um, that's definitely biodegradable. And then also try, if you can, to kind of bathe away from the actual source. You know, or put a bunch of soap on, you know, away from the actual source. Uh, that's when it's good to kind of take your water with you, you know, and go bathe at your campsite and uh, get things done away from the source of the water. But moving on from that, I got a couple little things here. Uh, these both have to do with chafing. Uh, Body Glide will help prevent chafing, and Cortisone 10 will really help heal chafing up overnight. If I uh, ever got really chafed up, I put this on uh, at nighttime when I was kind of doing my little self care routine. And just in the morning, I'd wake up and the chafe would be almost gone. It was, uh, it was very, it's like a miracle. So I always bring that with me. I always bring some Body Glide. I actually take a little stick of Body Glide, I'll show you here in a minute. But this is kind of cool. It's tiny. It's it's not a lot. Keep that in mind. But uh, it's something that can work, and it's uh, it's a little if you kind of want to try it out if you've never used Body Glide before. Um, of course, here we have a couple little things to kind of clean yourself off with. Um, like I said, I use this for all my kind of bathing and snot rag, and you know, it's just my little bathing rag basically. And uh, I take it on all my trips. Um, you can also use something like this, like a light load towel here. These work and they're about half, uh, half the weight of this. You know, this thing weighs like 1.2 ounces. And, uh, oops. Oh yeah, we'll tear it. Yeah, yeah, 1.2 ounces. You know, this little guy weighs, yeah, 0.6 ounces. So, quite the difference in weight there. But yeah, they both work pretty well for just kind of bathing off and uh, keep care of yourself. Tweezers are nice if you are going on, or I'm sorry, nail clippers are nice if you're going on like a longer trip and you just uh, need to trim those nails. Uh, I'd uh, trim mine about, you know, once a week and that kept them pretty good. Um, but mostly with hygiene, like we all know, you know, what we're doing when it comes to hygiene, it's just kind of like what little kind of cool things can uh, we take, what little kind of hacks uh, can we do to make things lighter, to make things more efficient. Um, and I think, you know, one, like I said, is taking the opportunity when it comes along uh, to bathe up and um, bathing is going to also you know decrease chafing it's going to get all the grime off your body all the salt and 
uh, stuff like that. It's just going to make your world a lot better when you're out there. It's going to make you feel a thousand times better. And uh, yeah, we all need to do it, uh, so you might as well. And the next little section of this video is going to be basically some stuff that you can take um, hygiene related. I don't really take this stuff I have in the past, but I kind of stopped taking it. And I will I'll tell you why I stopped taking it here. Um, but wet ones, uh, I know a ton of people take those. I used to take them a lot. But I just kind of use baby wipes now. Uh, if I need to sanitize something, I have my san uh, sanitizer um, gel with me. So the wet ones aren't really good for, for my opinion, uh, for your backside. Um, they're a little too like antibacterial, like kill germ, Lysol wipe <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, I don't like putting it on those uh, sensitive areas. I like using like a baby wipe with a nice kind of aloe vera um, finish to it or chemical ingredient, whatever it is. These things are kind of cool. They're just little, um, you put some water on them, they turn into a towel and they're kind of neat. Sometimes I put them in my pack. I've never really used them in the outdoors, but um, yeah, they're fun and they're kind of cool. I just wanted to show you those. Insect uh, spray. So I just use this uh, Picardin uh, from Sawyer if I use any at all. And honestly, I don't really use insect repellent when I'm out in the outdoors unless I'm like uh, in, you know, Canada, Alaska, or somewhere where it's super thick with the bugs. Uh, I really don't use it that much. I just kind of deal with them and then I get into my tent or shelter at night and I zip up my, my bug net and I'm like, all right, this is my sanctuary <laughs> and this is my, you know, time away from the bugs. Um, they do get annoying, don't get me wrong. Uh, I also take like a little head net with me, but uh, you might want to take something if, if bugs just like, you know, um, totally, totally ruin your time in the outdoors. I'll definitely take something to kind of deter them because they're out there and they're thick too. And they, they, they can get pretty annoying. They can, they can get to you mentally, uh, especially like black flies that, that bite. Those are horrible. Uh, I, those, I can't stand those things, but, um, that's, uh, something you can also take too, of course. Um, keep those insects away, keep them biting little buggers away and uh, lotion too. If you want to bring like a little lotion to kind of, you know, your skin, has all sorts of weird stuff that happens to it when you're in the outdoors that doesn't happen when you're at home, like showering and moisturizing and, you know, eating your usual diet and stuff like that. Um, so you get, I don't know, I get little like eczema patches sometimes here and there, uh, just cause how dry it can get up in the Colorado mountains as well too. But sometimes it's nice to have a little lotion just to kind of pamper yourself uh, at nighttime and all this kind of stuff here, um, including these next two items here, I'm going to kind of show you can all be used, uh, you know, at the end of the night or, you know, the beginning of the day, just kind of like give yourself five, you know, 10 minutes in your tent at night to kind of clean your feet up. Um, just, you know, doctor your hands up, put Neosporin on tiny little cuts because things get infected a lot easier in the outdoors when you're just dirty all the time and you're mucking through mud and dirt and, you know, all sorts of stuff and sweating sunscreen and deet into your, you know, cuts and whatnot. <laughs> uh, so it's, um, it's uh, definitely nice to take the time to, to work on yourself a little bit each night. Um, and that can be in two ways, you know, one, it can be in like a hygienic way. And then two, it can be in like a more um, physiological way. So, you know, KT taping your knee, uh, doing some stretching. Um, you know, I'm not going to uh, go into like different stretches and all the stuff that's super subjective to people, but uh, maybe know some stretches for your IT band, your hip flexors, your glutes, your quads, um, some parts of your core, you know, uh, your QL um, also uh, can get pretty tight as well. Um, just kind of stuff. Just know a little, you know, a couple stretches, a little five, 10 minute routine that you can do just to kind of warm up in the morning, you know, kind of cool down at nighttime. Uh, make sure that your body is going to be warm when you're stretching it. So, you know, kind of maybe hike for 10 minutes in the morning. That's kind of what I always do is I start really slow. I'll do a little bit of hiking and then I'll stop and do some stretching and then I'll hike more. And then once I'm really warmed up, I'll, I'll still stop and stretch, you know, every like hour I like to take or hour and a half, take a little chill and, uh, and do maybe like a couple stretches, you know, just the, just while you're nice and warm and your body's uh, ready to stretch. But KT tape, I really want to put an emphasis on this. Um, this here led to my successful uh, through hike of the Colorado Trail. I had a horrible IT band uh, problem with my, on my right side and my knee was all swollen up. I had to hike like 20 miles on the thing and it was, my body was hardly working. 
and I uh, got to Breckenridge and this, and this really nice lady out there um, who owns one of the acupuncture centers actually showed me how to KT tape my knee. <laughs> when she showed me, she, she KT taped it and I, I stood up and all like 90% of my pain was gone. And I was like, I want to hug you. Like, this is amazing. You know, this is when we could hug each other when it wasn't, when it wasn't like coronavirus um, times, FYI. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really uh, relieving to have KT tape. So I've brought it on every trip since. I know how to tape my knee. I just YouTubed like, hey, how do you KT tape your knee? Plus this nice lady had taught me how to KT tape it too. So um, you can, you know, Google whatever injury you have. See if you can mess with it with KT tape. I, I suggest giving it a whirl. This stuff's like 15 bucks. You can get like knockoff versions of it too. Um, but it's like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. You can get the knockoff ones for cheaper. But uh, use the um, the stretchy elastic one. Don't get the cloth one. Uh, get the stretchy elastic one for like sports. And that stuff is, uh, is a miracle. I can't say enough good stuff about it. Uh, Luco tape is pretty sweet. You can get that at like the Walmart or Amazon or whatever. Um, it just looks like this. And it's really, really adhesive. It sticks like nothing else. I've put this stuff on and it just it just stays there. The adhesive they use is absolutely genius. It's great for blister uh, treatment, um, if you're having just, you know, chafing issues maybe, or just, you know, friction issues anywhere, you can try to build up a little layer of uh, Luco tape on that. And uh, KT tape works for it as well, but KT tape does not stick like Luco tape. Uh, Luco tape is just extremely, extremely adhesive. It will rip skin off when, if you like cover up a blister that you popped or something with it, I mean, just say goodbye to that skin. Make sure you rip that skin off within like, you know, the first day, change that Luco tape out, <laughs> uh, clean the wound <laughs> because it's coming off, man. Uh, and next we have my, oops, I almost forgot my favorite item for self-care, my massage ball. Yes, this Rology massage ball. Thank you for whoever started making these things because they are a must for me in the outdoors. I take them with me when I'm traveling. I take them everywhere. Um, I love these things. They're uh, really, really cool to have because they're just light. They can, you know, get your muscles just like, if you're having a muscle that will not calm down and you know kind of like your body and how to treat it, you can use this as an excellent tool to relieve those muscles. Now do beware, like, you know, sometimes you wanna know how your body is gonna to respond to such pressure. This is a really, really hard um, piece of cork. And I have many massage items and I'm very familiar with massage equipment and uh, all that stuff. So this little guy here packs a wallop, um, you know, kind of like maybe experiment with it or learn how to do some stuff with it before you kind of, um, you know, use it in the backwoods. Uh, know that like, you know, how you kind of like will press on a muscle and, uh, and have it release for you. Um, cause sometimes some people are super sensitive and they would not like any of the pressure on the muscle that's you know, irritating them or just that certain area might be vulnerable, you know, for that, for that individual. Like I would not take this and use it on like back pain. I wouldn't go like roll my back out with this, but I would roll my yeah, T bands out. I would roll my hip flexors, um, and my quads with it, which in turn for me, relax my back. So this is a key item in uh, self-care in the outdoors. Take five minutes, you know, use it in the morning and night. Um, give your body a little bit of love out there because you're giving it a lot of hate. <laughs> and to finish here up, we have my toiletry kit. And here we have my favorite item first, why not? The Hygiena uh, water uh, bidet. This just hooks up to your water bottle, uh, smart water style, um, just like on the top and it's used as a bidet. So if you don't know what a bidet is, you can Google it. It'll probably put up some interesting uh, pictures. But uh, yeah, these are awesome. They're great. I pretty much stopped using toilet paper in the back country. I just use my bidet after I go, and then I use um, baby wipes that I pack in, in these tiny little lop sacks. Um, I just put baby wipes in there, and then I keep an empty lop sack right here to put the used ones in, and I pack those out. And then I don't use really any toilet paper. I keep some with me just in case, like I have a little bit right there. And then I have my trowel, of course, deuce of spades, and a little bit of hand sani. And then I have my main uh, body glide. And what I'll do is I'll go dig my hole. Uh, when you're digging your hole, 
you know, do your best to get it as deep as you can. Uh, it's supposed to be six inches. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, not, not too bad. Like what I'll do here is I know that this to here is about eight and a quarter inches. So I'm like, okay, if I dig a hole that, you know, is going to be like that deep, then, uh, then I know I'm going to be okay. Um, but do your best. Um, you know, there's sometimes you can't dig that deep. Uh, sometimes you're up on tundra uh, above tree line or your places where you just can't like dig, you know, at all. Um, you'll bust your trowel. So, uh, you know, figure out some techniques with rocks, um, things like that. Try to hide it and uh, do your best you can to, um, to minimize your, your impact. You know, I want to be real about that. Like, that is 100% true. Sometimes you cannot dig in certain spots. Uh, it's, it's rare, I will say that. But if you hike in those areas a lot, it's really not that rare. Um, so do not leave your toilet paper out there. Like, if you can't dig the hole and you use your toilet paper, like pack the toilet paper out because it will get, you know, a marmot will take it, it'll get loosened up, it'll, and then you'll see a huge, like, poop ridden um, stream of toilet paper on a bush as you walk past it when you're hiking in like a beautiful area. <laughs> I know that's horrible imagery, but uh, I want to like, you know, be uh, stern about that, man. Like if you're gonna use toilet paper and not bury it, um, you know, you gotta make sure that you pack it out. And if you disagree with me, then I guess we're going to have to disagree. But this has been my video on hygiene and personal care. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative at the least and entertaining at the most. Uh, if you have questions about this gear, want to talk about any of this gear, go ahead, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.